Hello everyone, tonight's target is the Bubble Nebula, better known as NGC 7635. And it's right near the constellation Cassiopeia. So tonight I'm actually doing, uh, I'm using a different laptop for the screen capture, so I'm not sure how the audio and video is going to come out. But tonight I'm doing just uh, HA and Oxygen 3. I'm doing 100 exposures for HA um, at uh, 3 minutes long, and O3, Oxygen 3, I'm just doing 90 pictures at 120 seconds and I'm using gain of 139 offset 21 which is basically like unity and for oxygen 3 this will be turned down to 75 and 15 but tonight uh, it's gonna be about seven and say we seven and a half hours remaining on this one target I'm running a dither so that's gonna make my guiding look a little crazy so my guiding was at 0.72 as you see right here but now if the dither is going to come in, it's going to jack it up a little bit for a few seconds. And actually, I'm at work right now this evening. Working a little bit late tonight, but I'm remoted into one of my to my laptop at home with the telescope outside. So that's why the connection is doing a team view remote session. So looks like everything's pretty stable. But yeah, so I was 0.74. Dither jumped it up a little bit until it settles down. But here's a raw HA image right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. And you can see the bubble is actually right here. So hopefully everything comes out nice. Uh, stars are pretty round. Uh, I use a different method for my um, uh, autofocus. And what I did was um, Chuck, actual photography, is always putting out nice tip videos. So I'm following all his tips. So I went in and I changed some of my settings. Never knew about changing these settings after he put this video out. So my um, autofocus, where is that uh, focus right here? Change some settings for um, autofocus backlash settings, so that's all set now. And no, it's not on here. Yeah, for filters, here we go. I think it's other. Yeah, change these settings in here for um, conversation direction out 200 step size. I copied his, and it looks like my graph was perfect tonight. Never had a graph that perfect. And I changed my filters. Let me, wrong stuff I'm clicking on right here. For my filters. I changed all exposure times um, since I'm doing HA tonight. So when autofocus basically takes a 10 second exposure, and I think by default it was like two seconds or something like that. So the exposures were very short. So maybe that made a difference when I changed all these settings right here for um, my narrow band filters for 10 seconds and broadband filters for five seconds. So I have yet to see how it's gonna look with broadband, but for so far HA, it was smack dead perfect. I wish I would have had a screenshot of how perfect the graph, it went straight down perfect line and perfect V pattern perfect. Took a little bit longer to do because it's longer exposures now, but um, everything came out perfect with that. And yep, still looks pretty good as far as exposure. And pictures and the stars are pretty round. Perfect, looks perfect for me. I still use my Celestron AVX mount. The mount is still kicking after you know a whole year of use. Extreme temperatures, it freezing down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit, and as high as like 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Still working for me. So that's be it for this video and yeah, did the settle on down. Let me clear it, see if it looks a little bit better. I wish it was in the 30s. <laughs> Never get the numbers that low. So about 70s, maybe 80s. Nope, 74, 75. That's real good for my AVX mount. 72, 69. That's real good. As you can see, autofocus is actually running right now. And see how my graph is actually coming straight down? Of course, I'm doing longer exposures, so it might actually take a little bit longer. Anyway, but uh, check out the graph as autofocus is running. Look at that line right here. I've never had a line that straight on like that. So th again, this must be from these new settings that I've, well, different settings that I've used for autofocus settings. 
And I want to thank Chuck with that Chuck's actual photography for going into detail with this kind of stuff. Nobody's putting help out here for this kind of stuff with him, it seems like. And it helps me a whole lot. I've learned a lot just from his videos and shooting him emails and questions back and forth about astral photography. It looks like this graph is doing real good tonight. And I think it's pretty much done. It might draw one more point. They're just going to draw a little X pad. Yep, there we go. That's a pretty good graph for me. And I think that's it. It's going to close. Oh, one more exposure. And after that, it's going to close down and go back to imaging. Yep, autofocus complete. In three, two, one, close. And it goes back to imaging. Have mine set for once an hour to do uh, automatic focus. Once every hour and once if the temperature drops four degrees, it will do autofocus. So once an hour or four degrees, whatever comes first and on, on every filter change, it will do autofocus.